Hi, everyone. Hey, hey. My name is Araya. And I'm Riz. And we are a husband and wife team that have been putting on over a decade of international sacred earth retreats. And that's the name of our company. That's the name of our company. And we are here to break it all down for you so you can know exactly what we're doing, how we do it, the way we do it, why we do it, and have some fun. Go on this little And tour. where we do it. And where we do it. going to include a lot of photos and videos while we're talking about these amazing adventures that we have been doing. Mm, I can't wait to see what you what you've got. Actually. There's so many pictures it's and gonna videos. It's going to be hard to dig up all these photos. How did honestly. you go through thousands and thousands of, you know, when you told this me. It's going to be hard. I have two, at least two computers that are full of photos. From I can't wait to trips. see the pictures. And I honestly like, oh my, I don't even know if I should put the recent photos or the ones from the past because there's so many. A lot of these uh, countries that we go to and locations, mm. we've been multiple times. So we have so many memories over the years. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about which countries and places that we go to these right. sacred sites. Domestic within the States and then international retreats. Do you want to start with domestic? Yes, let's do domestic. So where so, are we going in just a few days? Sedona. Love, love, love Sedona. If you have heard of Sedona, who hasn't? People in other countries have heard of Sedona because it is a vortex. And all of these places that we go to the reason we call our company Sacred Earth Retreats is because our philosophy as shamans, and those of you who know us have known we've been practicing shamans for over 15 years, have led thousands of ceremonies and channeling experiences and healings, that the earth is a place that is kind of like if you imagine it as the human body, that the earth also has chakras, has energy centers and vortexes, spots that are portals, and every spot we go to has an energy that is very specific and unique that kind of resets you. And so many people have called our retreats like the, the activation or the reset that they've needed. 100%. So I'm going to mention a couple other domestic places we go to. Sedona is uh, the first one, Mount Shasta. Then we have Salem, which is amazing, Salem, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And we have Joshua Tree which of course a lot of people know about. So as far as our international retreats, we have Egypt, Japan, and Glastonbury. Mm, Glastonbury is new on the list. And so what has come off the list is India and Ireland. And replaced with? Glastonbury. <laughs> That's right. Both were replaced with one country, but it's a big retreat, Glastonbury. Yeah. Well, it's Merlin's home, and the more I'm learning about it, I am probably not going to want to come back. I'm going to just stay there. <laughs> I mean, it is so magical. So you have Stonehenge and you have all these major monuments and places that they say that Merlin has healed, done his healing powers. And Merlin, you know, it's interesting because Riz has channeled Merlin many times. You can go to our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And as if you're on our page, you probably already know that Riz is a trance channel and channels many spirit guides. And, and I do them, them on Merlin. the, yes. And I do the, I do the channeling on the retreat. So no matter where we are, we do the channeling, the circle of light at the actual physical spot. Right. So we will be channeling at Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a drive from Glastonbury. Glastonbury is a town that is basically the Shire, the Lord of the Rings. It is the most magical fantasy medieval place that you can go to on planet Earth where people who live there, they live the life. They live the mystic, magical life. That is the world they live in. You'll see people walking around in cloaks and wizards hats, and this is their normal daily wear. I wish I could dress like that all the time. And when you're there, you really feel the... The mysticism, the esoteric history, the energy from the land. Yep. Merlin's cave is there. Merlin's cave is there. And these sites will just bring you into your inner wizard and bring that inner wizard out of you. And that's why we're going. Yes. And it's been a long time coming for this retreat. And so that's next year. And we already have a couple of people interested in it. So we're going to start to put the group together. All of these retreats, we should say, many of them fill more than a year in advance. Yes. And so some people have said to me over the years, and this is why we're doing this video, is because we've gotten so many messages and emails and comments on the videos, 
asking for details about the retreat. And while we can't talk to everyone, this is the way that we can do it, is talk to all of you and tell you the reason why the retreats are booked for more than a year in advance is because, number one, there's a high demand with people wanting to come on these experiences. Secondly, when we are planning the retreats, the way that we have been able to organize this in order to provide a smooth and efficient and safe and peaceful environment is that we book everything far in advance. And all of these reservations that we make, these are for not two or three rooms because people think, well, can't I just join at the end? No, because when we are in a hotel, there's 20 rooms that we're taking up. And so the space becomes very limited in the actual physical place we're staying. Right. Along with tickets to the admissions to the sites, all of these things are included in our retreats. So you have your hotel stays, you have your breakfast in all of these places, you have your transportation to and from the airport, you have the transportation that we're doing within the city or country that we're in. So very often we have our own private coach bus and all the sites, those are all included. And all of those things are purchased right when you sign up for the retreat. So this is why people sign up a year in advance. These retreats take a lot of careful planning. We put all our heart and and minds into this planning because it's so special to be together with a group of people that have the same intention, mm -hmm. that have the same interests. This is why we do it. That's why it's not an, a normal company. We don't consider ourselves a travel company in that official sense. We are shamans who have our own private we're like service tour guides. Exactly. So when we yeah. when we're there, we are focused on the energy of the place. And we do have fun. We go shopping and we have fun food and we do all those things and we have a lot of laughs. But the intention of the group always is this spiritual activation, this connection to the history, to the mystery, to the mysticism of that land. Right. And like with Salem, uh, for example, what he was just discussing about timings. So we had Salem was pretty much booked almost six months ago. Uh, it was filled and it was a good thing because October is their busiest month, of course. And we were like really glad that we got ahead because we were able to get tickets and things that were sold out so soon. Very after that. special experiences, by the Very way, special, that are curated authentic, for our groups. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And we picked all the most authentic and best uh, attractions and, and the things that we loved when we were there. And we really want to bring that to you guys in this way and also include the psychic aspect of Riz picking up messages and picking up energy in the different locations and also giving messages to the people throughout the entire retreat, all the retreats, he's always giving messages to people as they're walking. <laughs> I into, let loose. <laughs> as they're walking into the pyramids, he's giving messages to people. Because I see people's past lives. I see their connections. I, I can feel when their guides want me to point something out to them. And that's what I love about these retreats is being there. And then there's a time to lay back and, and allow everyone to experience it the way that they need to in that moment. So our retreats aren't cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. While we have very standard itineraries that are tried and true over 10 years of doing this, there still is room for this. Each group has a spontaneous vibe. And each group that we've taken, you know, sometimes it's all people who want to laugh all the time and some people who really want to drop in and meditate. And then some people who have a combination of all of that. But I really believe that it's like the universe brings all the perfect group together. Yes. I've seen people walking by the king's tomb, um, the pharaoh's tomb, uh, Tutankhamun, mm -hmm. and they've just broke down in tears and they had to go stand by themselves and have a moment with themselves because they felt they were there in a past life or they experienced that yeah. moment for themselves. It was very overwhelming. They loved it. So that being said, I think we should dive into each and every retreat. So, well, you started talking about Egypt. I really want to talk about Egypt. Okay, it's so coming let's up talk in about February. Egypt first. So, okay. February 2024. So, let's go over the dates. The dates first. are the 17th through the 24th. Yes. And... and you will arrive on the 17th. We spend two days in Cairo where we see the Great Pyramids. We are on a private camel ride for our group away from everyone else behind the pyramids we get off there and we sit we meditate as the sun is going down pyramids and i channel messages and yes is channeling in, basically at the foot of the pyramid yep. we go into the chamber of the great pyramid and there we do a sound healing activation oh. of the pyramid. 
pyramid is activating every cell in your body, every thought you've ever had, past, present, or future, every lifetime. We see the Sphinx. We are at the New Cairo Museum. This is a big deal, guys. The New Cairo Museum is on a level that is past any museum in the world. It is stunning. It is full of it's the to most be the amazing artifacts. It's the museum, right? In the it entire is. world. It actually is yeah. now. So we spend time doing that. We're in the Khan Khalili Market in Cairo, which is stepping back in time like a thousand years. You want to live Indiana Jones? Well, this is the one to come. Uh, we go into Sekhmet's temple. Actually, you know, I got these rings that I'm wearing in Khan Khalili Market. And if you guys can see that, who knows if that'll show up. But this is a deer's head with antlers. And this is a frog. And uh, they have beautiful jewelry in these markets that you can never find anywhere else. Yeah, Anywhere you else feel like world. you're going back in time. Then after Cairo, we are off to Luxor. Luxor, we see the Valley of the Kings. And there is so we are at the Isis Temple and Temple of Sekhmet. These are life changing. You'll actually see orbs in the videos where you're standing Thousands in the, in the temple. Thousands around you while in you're fact, in we'll there. show that. Yeah, like, look, we'll show that here. You're here. You're looking at that right now. Mm -hmm. These are the orbs swirling around us as we're saying a meditation prayer and receiving that blessing of the energy in that space. Mm -hmm. So it's beautiful. And then we end up in Aswan. This is where Agatha Christie wrote some of her books. Aswan is this wonderful city, this Nubian city. And we also have a chance to be on a boat in the Nile. You sure will. So that's pretty much Egypt. And the food and is the amazing. Food is amazing. And, you know, Egypt, it's funny. Some people have asked me over the years, is Egypt safe to go? Egypt, my friends, is literally set up for tourists. I actually think it's one of the safest places we've ever traveled to. Oh, because they I felt more safe sure in Cairo than New York City. They kind <laughs> of uh, are shuffling us around the country because they want absolute perfection in our in our experience you feel so protected when you're in egypt because everybody goes over and beyond to help and make sure that you are having a good experience so we have always had and maybe it's just our energy or maybe it's just the way we plan it or maybe it's just the people we know we don't know but we've i know i think it's really, egypt egypt's egypt has so much love and friendliness yeah, yeah they're so friendly and they want you to experience and love it and the entire you know the income of the 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 country excuse me yes is all about tourism yes. so it's a perfect retreat you fly into cairo and you will feel the energy immediately so where else what's after that we're headed to japan yes the following month in april yes so we're so going to be in going april for, for cherry the... blossom yeah so the cherry blossoms is a very so specific it's a time season but it is i think there's festivals that also go for on sure it's three time, weeks long right mm-hmm so the Cherry Blossom Festival, Cherry Blossom season, uh, we're going to not only see all the cherry blossoms and the city of Tokyo mm -hmm. and really dive in, but we have quite a few things that we're going to be enjoying. So Shrines, markets, villages, the city of Tokyo. You, you know, when you go to Japan, it is this incredible blend of super modern, even futuristic Mm -hmm. I mean, even some of the restaurants where we would be having sushi, the way that it was designed yeah. or the service or the way the menu was projected onto the wall. There's just this. And it's There's nothing. Like it's it. not cheesy Japan, either. It's Japan fun. Japan is unique and one of a kind. There's yeah. no other country close to it. And then you go down the street and there's ancient Shinto shrine. Yeah. And. This is what makes and I can't Japan stop interesting eating, to me. Actually, when I'm in Japan, I want to <laughs> eat like every two hours constantly because the food is so good. That's interesting oh that you gosh. say that because the food doesn't make you feel heavy, right? And I think yeah. it's just the way they they their techniques and their traditions. Right. The food is cooked so amazing, so we love it. So we're gonna also go to this. Uh, the itineraries change from trip to trip depending mm -hmm. on the travel status and the different situations happening with. Yeah. Each individual country. As we know, Japan just reopened its doors over the last, I think it was 18 months ago or like about a year ago. ago. So we go to yeah. Kyoto and we go to the shrines there. We do a tea ceremony. You walk through the, the forest and you feel, and I certainly felt like the spirits of the forest were there. I felt that I lived there before. It's so and calming. It's peaceful. very calming, yeah. There's a lot of people in in Tokyo, but you don't feel it. Yeah. It just feels very peaceful, like everybody's on the same page somehow. There's no chaos. That's what I feel. 
Yeah, and it's uh, very unified. You will see, you will see uh, so Mount Fuji. And there's different cities for different trips. So in one of our future trips, it may be this one. There's a samurai town of Kanazawa. Kanazawa. Mm -hmm. And that's near the Alps. That's near the Alps. Mm -hmm. The Japanese Alps. And then there's Hakone. See, I can I can't pronounce it as well as you. <laughs> and then there's also Nara, which where you will see deer. Very peaceful, beautiful deer just walking all around you. Now the cherry blossoms, that season, why it's so special is because it's so beautiful. If you've ever seen a cherry blossom tree mm -hmm. and people come from all over the world to take photos, there are spaces in nature, which the cherry blossoms just go on. It just looks like this incredible, like anime art, but it's yeah. real. And then there's cherry blossoms in the streets of Tokyo. What I love about our retreats is that we always integrate a, like a big variety, a wide variety, a bigger spectrum of the culture than I see most spiritual retreat companies do. Mm. So what we like to do- Because we don't rush. We're not- We're we, trying to yeah. have everybody experience as much as we can the entire experience of that culture. So we don't just go to like only shrines or only temples or only, we actually will take you to the gaming part of Tokyo. We'll take you to, you know, other areas where they show like you're seeing the full, it's like the full, the essence full scope and full of the culture, right? Yeah. Of that place. Right. How people actually experience and live there rather than just these tourist sites where these tour companies go and, Okay, you've got 22 and a half minutes here. Go take your pictures and get back on the bus. Yeah, no, we no, do no, not do like that, that. We'll go into a all. cat cafe and we'll sit down and right. you know, uh we have an itinerary planned, very pretty it's it's pretty, I wouldn't say strict, but it's it's very solid for each and every Absolutely. location that we go to. Right. But we have we're like there's a family feeling that we somehow uh -huh. end up feeling. And so we allow things to happen. Like if there's a little bit of time and people want to go off and have coffee, we can, right. we can put that into our routine. There's so it's a certain spontaneity yeah. because sometimes when you have your finger on the pulse of what's happening in the group and you, you read the group, there's almost like this after a, yeah, after two days, yeah, the group could, starts to know one another. Yeah, and, it and, becomes cohesive. Right. And it? they're like, everyone goes, Okay, so we're about to go to this shrine next, and you can feel the group go, we kind of just want to go shopping right now. That's happened. And we go, okay, so let's go shopping right and now. That has happened. Uh, mm -hmm. And you know, it's not that, I think I would say 90% of the time we just stick to our itinerary. Yeah. But what we're saying is that there's a flexibility and there's also a feeling of camaraderie and everyone is like, we're really in this together and it, you really feel the fun because when you're with the right group, it makes all the difference in the world. And when you feel inclusive and you mm -hmm. feel like the, everybody has each other's backs and we're all talking and we're all sharing stories and we're all just opening up about ourselves in different ways. And yeah. we do a lot of, you know, psychic communication and we do circle of light uh, evening, sometimes up to two for international retreats. We'll do up to two we'll or do, three, even Sedona. We do a done. few. Yeah. I, I would imagine that when we're in Glastonbury, we're going to do a lot. Oh yeah. Glastonbury. Well, you're going to channel Merlin for sure. For sure. Merlin and Gwyneth. Vere, King Arthur. Channeling Merlin in Merlin's home yeah. in Glastonbury. Like I got I have chills. Like I cannot even well, wait. That's in September. Yeah. That's uh nine nine of next year. Yes. And let me tell you, I already know because just some preliminary, we just announced that today. Yes. And there's already interest. So guys, I'm telling you. It'll if you wait, it will be gone. It will be gone. Book up our yeah, especially like our uh, our weekend retreats in Shasta and. Um, when is the next Shasta retreat? Okay, let's see. We have October, so our which next is sold Shasta, out, but we do have space for. So we have March eighth and the tenth. Yes, that has so, some space, I believe. Let's see. Let me just click on the website. We'll find out right now. So, oh, look at that. We have new. <laughs> we have some new dates. Oh, There's we're sold few, out for Shasta yeah. in March. So, see, this is an example. So, for mm. Shasta, we did Lionsgate August 11th of this year, and it was incredible, and and we loved it. And there's pictures, and I'll put that up here in the video. Mount um, Shasta is a very powerful vortex where you, if you have any connection to Atlantis, Lemuria, St. Germain, anything uh, Archangel Michael, the Violet Flame, people who you know what I'm talking about, those of you who know what I'm talking about, 
But even if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's let me tell you, it's a great introduction. But when you go to Mount Shasta, you will be surprised. It is in my top three most powerful vortexes on Earth. Yeah. It is unbelievable. I see why people want to live there. You will want to live there. It yeah. li- it it's exists so in a different space. It's secluded and protected and mm. loved by the air. <laughs> like the energy of the place is just so consuming of like positive energy like if you imagine positive ions or something coming from the earth like that's what it feels like like you're getting washed we go up into the springs the waterfalls we get into the amazing water and lakes Mm -hmm. and we hike and we we channel on the land channeling when we have and we watch for the spaceships the ufos at night and we're going to put a little video right now and what you are watching right now is an actual light ship ufo that flew over our heads right outside our retreat house, right above us after we channeled St. Germain. Yes. Look at how it's changing colors and changing shape. This was zooming in and out, flying above us, guys. This is how, and then it zoomed out in the blink of an eye over Mount Shasta and disappeared. And these are the type of things that you, and you just don't know what to expect when you go. So Mm -hmm. October 13th and 15th of this year, 2023, fully booked out right away. March 8th through 10th, fully booked of 2024. So we have new dates, summer solstice, June 19th through the 21st. And we have just seven spots. And that that might be different at this point, but it's by the time you watch this, right? You probably have a chance to get into that one. Okay. So yeah, I mean, Shasta speaks for itself, Mm -hmm. (laughs) but we have um, links and descriptions. And if you're watching this on the website, obviously you're in the right spot. Just click on Mount Shasta. If you're watching this on YouTube, just go down to the description and you can click it there. So all right, so we covered Mount Shasta, we covered Japan, we covered Egypt, we, we covered talk about, Glastonbury. Let's talk about Salem. So let's talk about, I. oh yeah, we didn't talk about Salem. No, Salem in October, uh, really, you can't imagine a better time to go to Salem than October. Now look, there's certainly a lot of people go to Salem in October. I grew up on the East Coast, by the way, uh, New York City. And you grew up in the West Coast. Yes. And so when I first took you to New England, there was a several hundred years of history that you had only read about right. in school, mm-hmm. right? Because we first got colonized over there. And this was almost as if a storybook or fantasies were coming to life about the past for yeah. you when we went to New England. Yeah. Because... I went it really like, happened. I went into like a dream state because I couldn't believe what I was witnessing. I mean, it was like the storybooks and everything came to life for me. But being in Salem is for me, I mean, personally, I'm I'm, you know, I'm an empath, so I feel mm-hmm. everything 10 times more, but there's people who have never experienced things like this and they just you feel chills when you're in front of some yeah. of these these homes and the architecture from that time period and going into these museums and and hearing these stories and being in this environment. I mean, by the time you leave, you actually feel like a, a citizen of Salem because well, you're yeah. deeply immersed. So we're going to have a very deeply immersive, paranormal, haunted tour of Salem, of Salem. Right. But Salem is this unique little town. There's no Right, you're not going to see a Burger King, or you're not going to see a big Holiday Inn or Hilton there. The town's, in in a sense, a certain integrity has been maintained there, mm-hmm. even though, of course, there's like the fun and cheesy, you know, witches kind of gimmicky shops. There's also true, real, new age, esoteric, mystical, Wicca. yeah. Wiccan places yep. along the main street, which is called Essex Street. Mm-hmm. There are certain structures that I've. Re- have remained since the time of the the trials. We do go to the memorials for mm-hmm. the accused and where they were hung, and we channel while we are there, and I am giving a lot of psychic messages throughout. We do an actual paranormal investigation mm-hmm. in a particular place called Gallows Hill mm-hmm. with actual uh, the, the detectors and all sorts of little technologies that we put in your hands. So you and get to experience it. And on the first it. night, Riz, you're doing a seance. And I'm doing a seance the first night. That's going to be very exciting. Of course. That. And that's in our own private villa, which is on the sea, which a we rent for our Italian retreat. Villa. Yeah. yeah. And it's in Manchester by the sea, which is about eight minutes from Salem, because Salem, again, doesn't have big hotels. And we like to have our space separate and has a, have a very sacred energy in our group when we go to Salem. So, yes, 
Salem, in a sense, people think is very, oh, it's dark. Is it going to feel dark? You don't actually feel dark when you're there. You feel the fun of Halloween. You feel the you feel fun. How much everyone loves There's it. a lot of love part. there yeah. is what I actually feel. You know what we didn't discuss yet is how the average amount of people, how many people do we take per retreat? Okay. So, so each retreat's different, mm -hmm. right? Some are small. The smallest retreats we've probably ever done is eight people. Mm -hmm. And the largest is like 27. Sure. I believe. Some of the Egypt retreat, Egypt always is about 20 to 25 people. Just and enough to all fit in a bus. And when we used to go to India all the time, that would be about the, as many people. Right. But it never feels crowded, guys, at all. We have it, it is, down to a science. <laughs> it's a super fun class trip where everyone yes. is a student of magic. Yes. Right? I love when we put these itineraries together, we give everybody enough time to do things that we would naturally love to do. So we give people enough time to get from A to B in our itinerary and on top of that to, yeah. to not rush so if you're eating dinner you can take your time when you're done take your time and go to the next thing and what i noticed and this just comes with experience because we've done this for so many years mm -hmm. in the early days we used to really pack it and we used to rush 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 and it was <laughs> too, were exhausted it was too much it was like <laughs> way too much and we covered so much ground and it was so exciting in two days people intense. were like there's more we said we have people three more days exhausted. they're like okay we get it it was too much so we totally have changed that format a yeah. long time ago we changed it and we got we found this sweet spot mm -hmm. where people are like wow this is really refreshing and it felt really relaxing and people started to really relax and start to feel like, okay, I really am on vacation or I am on a retreat. Right. No one comes back from our experiences exhausted. You, right. you come back more peaceful, reset. Of course, you know, you, you're you out. So there's a little bit of physical. There's the travel you know, wear and tear. The travel wear, that's what it is. The travel wear and tear. And but, thank God, you know, we're past the pandemic stage. Oh my that, God, that was, I mean. We had they, to stop, obviously. Yeah, we had but to but stop then. when they even lifted the restrictions, we went right back to travel. People were waiting to go on their trips. Mm -hmm. And that was incredible to, to navigate through those airports during that COVID period, but we did it. And you know, and families we walk you, go right. by the way. And we walk you through the process. The families come, we've had people bring their kids, their teenagers, and guys, if you have teenagers, this is a great, oh, yeah. take them to see the pyramids, take them to Sedona, take them to Salem and see the history of the country, take, bring them to Japan, mind. completely different tastes and smells and sights. Travel is the best education you can give for the soul. It creates oneness and understanding humanity and really helps you appreciate them, their place, helps you appreciate your own place, meaning your own country and city and home. And this is what the Sacred Retreats is about, is that we are, we have much more in common than we realize and you need that pause in your life to, to reflect. You know, everyone comes for a different reason and the reasons vary greatly. So we'll have people coming because they had a loss of a loved one and this mm. was a way for them to get back in the saddle, get back to life That's and give right. themselves like a reset. Right. I've We've experienced that many times. We've also experienced people um, celebrating. Mm -hmm. They got married and they want to do something fun with their loved one or people who are world travelers who've seen it all, been to every country and they just want a different spin on it. And they love this psychic an angle, this spiritual sacred angle yep. going to these vortexes. We also have people who have um, just been through, you know, chemo, cancer, and wanting to give themselves a, a trip. They go with a girlfriend or, or, or their husband or something to give themselves something to kind of like a gift. And my favorite is that we've had a that. few people who are like, I'm planning to have a baby, so I better go now because I'm yeah, not going to be able to travel that. for three years until and after. Then the, my favorite, my favorite stories are the people who come that have never traveled. And we've never had, stepped foot outside the have, city. We have right. quite a few of those people. Yeah. Each time, each trip, there's two or three people at least that have never been outside of the U.S. And we are so excited when we do these international retreats and they come with us because we get to be the first people to really guide them through well they and really they... feel supported and i have to say i love hearing that and the thing that i hear from people and what i value the most when we get the that kind of love back is when people say i felt like you really like you took care of me that you were aware of me mm -hmm. and that is what i like to feel when i'm yes. somewhere and that yeah, just you're comes not like in... left straggling behind somewhere <laughs> yeah i mean we're like, not bringing 50 people you right. know we just we want to be with you and we 
we believe that that kind of community traveling together is just kind of like what and you know we're a big very part protective. of life and so all of our choices and everything we made all of our decisions that we make reflect like safety security well-being health so everything from the food like when we are in shasta or sedona everything is organic and healthy right meals are included so we meals have a included. chef and then preparing the food international mm -hmm. is restaurants but that's also we go to places that are like that you feel comfortable going and it feels good um we never like we never cut corners or have you go into places that are sketchy or feel uncomfortable Everybody always is very surprised that everything was just right where they needed it to be and right exactly how they wanted it. And we're all, we are so pleased that we can deliver it that way. Mm -hmm. And it's just years of experience and going to so many countries, so many places that we've learned these little tricks of the trade. And those of you who have traveled know that you learn on the go while you're out there what to do, what not to do. Right. And I think that's why we don't see any issues really when we travel. The only thing we've ever seen is like when we go to India, sometimes people will get deli belly if they- <laughs> If they don't listen to us. they don't listen to us <laughs> and drink something they're not supposed to drink or eat, you know- And there's, you know, India has air pollution, right? And they have the air, this air pollution, this last you gotta wear, intense. Yeah, you gotta wear a mask even if there was never any COVID because right. in the major cities. Now, if you go up to the Himalayas, it's a different story. You don't yeah, need your mask less, up there. Right. So it's also the different regions that you go to, mm -hmm. but we, always do a little, when it's an international retreat, we do a Zoom we'll with all the participants yeah. and everybody who's going gets on the Zoom and sees each other on Zoom and we mm -hmm. field everyone questions. Needs. Yes. And uh, then we, you know, we tell everyone who they're rooming with if they have a roommate option. And then it just, we just go. And of course we always uh, create a scenario where we'll have the equal genders. So we'll have male with male and female with female. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we always try to choose if we get to know you a little bit, we choose people who we think that would be good roommates together. Mm -hmm. And we have witnessed so many people just literally become like soul sisters. Yeah. We see their pictures on Instagram. Like, We're like, they're like best they're friends like selling birthdays. We're like, they met on a retreat three like, years yeah. ago, right? Some of our retreat uh, groups have stayed friends and continue to most, meet up most. in that group, in right. that same group. They're like, we'll see them all having dinner together, <laughs> doing a little reunion. It's so awesome. <laughs> that's how, I think that's how uh, the experience that they have on these retreats is very real. Right. And that is what is important to us. And if you know anything about our work or have watched any of our videos, even though we do these really... Um, amazing things like trans channeling and the psychic messages and all these things. Mm -hmm. But we try to keep everything as real as possible. So everybody feels that their feet are in the ground, but at the same time, their heart is opening and their mind is opening to the esoteric realms. And this is like a combination. Yeah. It's and like you know, a yummy that... ingredients list. And sometimes there's people on the retreats that just lay back and observe the quiet ones. like yeah and like we're not making you know you don't have okay, to you we don't pull you onto on the tree yeah everybody knows and so everybody just lets you be quiet yeah if you just want to observe and look out the window and you don't want anybody to talk to you we respect that if you put your earphones on and you just want to chill yeah absolutely we respect that so yeah you're not forced to do anything we don't play all these games and whatnot, you know, and we're flying or driving or something, you know, when we have some hours. Oh, to our kill. road, our road trip games. Yeah. They're fun. Yeah. But we don't, we don't force you to do anything if you don't want to do it. And I guess we're ready to go on to the next place. Is what's the next place. Okay. So we have, we talked about Sedona, Salem, Egypt, uh, Joshua, Josh Tree. Joshua tree. Okay, guys. That's the alien retreat. For centuries, Joshua Tree has been the epicenter of UFO and alien activity. From tribal legends of the Sky People to modern day sightings and encounters, this sacred land is known the world over for its powerful cosmic energy. For the last decade, I have led private channeling circles in Joshua Tree where I have been communicating with alien extraterrestrial intelligences, and now I'm opening this circle for you to join me here in California for a fascinating weekend of interdimensional channeling, night sky UFO watching, sound healing communication, and astral meditations under the stars. This is Contact, my UFO and alien communication retreat. You'll join me at night for UFO watching, and you'll hear the alien communication through the channelings that you'll experience. We're going to dive into deep guided off-planet meditation and connect to our star friends. So join us at this incredible time in human history where we are discovering 
we are truly not alone. This is our Skywatch UFO extraterrestrial channeling. These are for many ways. These are for the diehards who have been obsessed with our extraterrestrial phenomenon in life, like yeah. myself in this particular. This is the real contact in the desert. Yeah, we call it contact. So the name of the retreat is Contact. It's in Joshua Tree. The dates are January 12th through the 13th. And we'll be staying in a wonderful retreat house. And we have the same setup we do with all the other retreats, except this time it's focused into the evening. So everything comes to life as the sun starts to go down. We start to get lit up. That's when we are going to do all of the channeling, alien communication. Mm -hmm. We're going to set up our locations with a tour, a little tour guide company that offers the binoculars and the special infrared infrared and all these different we have a sound healing at the integratron which is an incredible geodesic dome that is designed specifically for activating crown chakra and actually all your chakras but you will feel the activation and that sound healing and Mm -hmm. i channel many people don't know but i besides channeling the spirit guides i do channel an extraterrestrial interdimensional race of beings who come through and have channeled Many, oh my God, dozens and dozens of pages of information about the very universe. Detailed. Very detailed, actually. Yeah. So if you are interested in, in that, the then you should come to this. You, yeah. Some of the videos on our YouTube channel, Riz has channeled these extraterrestrial beings named, the, they call themselves the Friends. This is not the first time they have communicated with this planet. They've been documented in history of talking to other people. And there's even documentaries made on that. They came through Riz and we were able to capture it on recording and we have it on YouTube and I have in the description listed all the topics mm-hmm. that they cover and they cover every supernatural and like well, they phenomenal talk also, mystery. Yeah, they talk about the, the map of the physical universe. They talk about our purpose. They talk about how and why they communicate with us and they answer, they actually take questions. So people have asked questions. So this is going to be a monumental yes. channel experience. This is a small group. We reserve this retreat to less than 10 people. Right. And it is simply because this kind of energy, this kind of special theme of this retreat is truly, it, the energy needs to be contained. It can't be with a big group. And you will be a part of that energy activation. Mm-hmm. You will probably open up your own channel to downloading all sorts of information under that star-filled sky in Joshua Tree. And we will teach you on Mm -hmm. how you can connect to extraterrestrial beings. And I will show you the way that I have learned because I'm not a master trans channel professional psychic medium, but I have the ability to connect and receive downloads. And so I can show you and guide you how I do that, the types of meditations that I do, Mm -hmm. very specific meditations and how I call them in. And this is a very Yeah, we'll do some crystal grid work while we're out there and teach you the history uh, of the land of Joshua Tree, which is, I mean, it's almost like you're on another planet. Actually, it kind of also reminded me of some of the energy in the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Mm. Uh, very similar, and I think that also has to do with the extraterrestrial connection there. So that's Joshua Tree. That's contact in January. What a great way to start off the year. Oh, you guys. Because it's going to be quite a year. I mean, right now we're talking about, you know, in Mexico, alien corpses being shown to their Congress. So this is right on time, guys. Um, We're going to be adding, I want to also tell you this, is we're going to be adding another Salem retreat. Mm -hmm. And I believe that's going to be in the spring. Yes, and we do not. We'll have announce those dates, dates in a few days. So check back on the website. And funny enough, by the time this actually gets posted, it might be filled. But we had an opening for Sedona this weekend. Starting on Monday mm-hmm. is the retreat. Sep- so September you can you can send us a message. 18th. We might still have the spot open. Yes. So let me just look at the March dates real quick for Sedona. It's sold out, isn't it? No. Um, oh, no, we have space. Look at that. a little bit of space. 21st to the 24th, spaces. the solstice, yeah. the spring solstice. Spring solstice. Okay. I have to actually double check on that, too. That might be booked. But so, yes, this is a great opportunity for you to see us face to face, hear us, 
And those of you who have been following us are kind of familiar with our retreats. Mm. Now you're getting kind of more of the juicy details of mm -hmm. what goes on. Mm -hmm. uh, the food is always great. Accommodations are always, we have, oh, let's talk about that for a second. So we have, we're usually in four-star accommodations and that's yeah. for a reason because in the European countries and in other countries around the world, four star is very high end, like our high end hotels here. Certainly in India, you go to a four star in India, it is yeah. like a five or six star right, over here. The rating here. is different. <laughs> um, also, I'd like to mention that we do private retreats all the time. Custom and we retreats. We use that in between our public retreats which is crazy schedule, but we do it. Let's talk about the custom retreats. So the yes, custom private retreats are, of course, at a higher cost, and but it is it's for your group. For it's your curated group. for your group, only for you. And we do an mm -hmm. itinerary that's customized, so we ask you a lot of questions and mm -hmm. interview you and get your desires and what is it that you want to feel with your group and right. what do you want to accomplish, yes. what is the overall theme, and we'll actually create an actual itinerary around your group. It could be for a birthday party. It could be for any reason, just a family get-together. Mm -hmm. um, so we have these custom retreats. So this is the public retreats that we've been doing for over a decade. We also have the curated customized retreats. That's kind of the next stage up where we go into a deeper kind of formula for you mm -hmm. that we make it perfect for you and your group and we customize it. So that one's a little bit higher on the tier. And then our third tier is, retreats. Right. And those are, you might call it uh the premium or the gold or the platinum level the vip luxury retreat yeah you may call it that right <laughs> these everything are is five star yeah. everything is five star all the way because we do have people who want that yes. and that's why we create uh, these different tiers of experiences because everybody wants a different experience and, and they, you're entitled to that so beautiful right. so we put that together for you as well mm -hmm. and for example that would be you know, you're staying, everything you're doing is five star in that. Every experience Every from the experience. transportation to Including the accommodations, to the food, to yeah. the add-ons, all of those everything. are there and you have options for even more. Mm -hmm. So those are, of course, if you, that's something that you would like to do, they, um, you just reach out to us. It ends up being mm -hmm. a private retreat anyway. Well, it is. These are private retreats. Remember, the, the custom retreat. The two are private. Right. So the custom and the five star are private retreats. And the only reason for those of you who are curious, the only reason we added these two is because people requested that. Yep. Uh, we have been doing these retreats this way for a long time. And um, oh, I wanted to talk about that right before we wrap. Mm -hmm. uh, some people have concerns with finances. So we offer different types of payment plans. We offer different ways that you can make it affordable. I also wanted to be clear that we are making sure that your accommodations and everything from transportation and every single stage of your trip is comfortable, relaxed, and clean, and it's safe. And what I notice is some retreat groups, and they have wonderful times, and everyone has a wonderful experience in other retreats, charge way less but if you pay attention to where they're staying, right. what they're doing, right. where they're going, mm -hmm. these are all places that are, you know, it's 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 not for everybody. So right. if you have to be ready to be in an environment like that. Some people want that experience. 100% more power to you if that's the experience you want. It, we have noticed with the clientele and the people that come to us, mm -hmm. they want a more uh, comfortable experience. They want to not rough it so much. So that's where we're at so we right. satisfy those needs and we give them what they want and we make it as affordable as possible for everyone and that we can actually afford to do it so yeah and we have different payment methods people put deposits down and yes. uh people so you all those details so we you get when you. we work right. with you right so you just drop us a note and erica our assistant will get back to you and answer your questions and we'd love to have you with us. This is something that is really probably our favorite thing to do in our work is to be able to be with people, mm -hmm. not just online or in a big public space doing the circle of light for them, but to spend time with people. You know what I really enjoy, and I think this is the best way we could wrap this up, is I really enjoy when you're talking to people and we're walking from site to site, uh -huh. destination, and I see you talking to different people. Mm he just can't help it. He's just, he's giving messages and psychic <laughs> messages the whole time. And what I love is that 
when the people are done and they walk away from him, you can see the look on their face. They're so satisfied that they're in this beautiful environment and beautiful new experience and this adventure. Mm. And they're at the same time doing some work on themselves, like soul work or getting messages from loved ones. And they are actually going into these places. It's like, it's like you're getting your cake and eat it too. So it's really great that you get to experience that. And I love watching that happen. So anyway, if everybody, uh, that's all our explanations about Sacred Earth Retreats. We're glad you guys watched this video. Please leave a comment. Uh, any suggestions about Reach future, us, yeah, questions. future destinations yeah, or we'd questions? Love to hear any places that you're interested in going? We have also a second bucket list of places that we have talked about, mm -hmm. and uh, and we'll yeah. get into that in another video. Yeah. All, all right, right, everybody. Thank you so much, and hope to see you on our next retreat. <laughs>